against the BISD bond say it's a puzzle the public has been left to put together on their own and they say they're not comfortable trusting the district with 390 million dollars. That message was shared with the public at an open forum this evening at the R.C. Miller Library in Beaumont. Ashley Rodriguez was at the meeting. She joins us now with details. Jackie, the bond opponents who organized tonight's forum presented the bond as a product of poor planning. The group of local contractors led by Tom Neal broke down all of the problems they see with the bond proposal, including the size of the bond, the district's history of mismanaging bond money, unclear project plans, and how much the bond will actually cost taxpayers in the long run. After the presentation, several members of the public stood up to agree with as well as address those concerns and bring up new ones. Some of the public expressed long-standing mistrust of the school board, while others say that's an issue to address when voting for trustees, not for new schools. The debate among the crowd did get heated at times, but most were understanding of each other's perspectives. Both proponents and opponents of the bond say the public really needs to understand the facts for themselves. We're trying to get the information out to the citizens so that they understand the need and understand that while this may not be the perfect bond package that they would put together if they alone were designing it, it's the best that this democracy uh, can produce that will benefit every single student across this district. I uh, hope that uh, people in the community see that there are others that feel the same. I think it's very very healthy for uh, our citizens to get out and show a concern, voice uh, their opinion, hear other sides, and make intelligent decisions. Community Advisory Bond Committee Co-Chairman Dr. David Tischer is holding two informational meetings on the bond proposal next week. The first will be Sunday night at 7 o'clock at the Westgate Memorial Baptist Church. The second will be Tuesday night at 6 at Wesley United Methodist Church on Major and Folsom.